On Tuesday, April 11th, the Board of Selectmen meeting was postponed and Town Hall was evacuated and shut down as a water pipe break caused flooding at various areas in the building. You are looking at photos that were sent out through Twitter from the Town of Hopkinton Twitter account, at Hopkinton MA. Fire Chief Stephen Slammon and Police Chief Ed Lee assisted in assessing the damage. Town Hall was also closed the following day, Wednesday, April 12th, and more cancellations and relocation for town government meetings is expected to occur. Stay tuned to our website and social media, as well as the town Twitter feed, for more updates. In this picture, the 2017 Boston Marathon line is in place and preparations are almost set for this year's marathon. Stay tuned to our website, hcam.tv, for a whole lot of video, pictures, and information about marathon festivities throughout Hopkinton. The state champion Hiller's girls volleyball team was honored before the Red Sox game on Tuesday, April 11th at Fenway Park for their extraordinary run. The team finished 22-2 overall and tallied 16 shutouts, including the state championship game. The state title was their second state title in the past three seasons. Hiller's softball has started off this season very nicely. They have won their first two games and one of the many great players on this year's team, Molly Bennett, announced she will be attending Stonehill College to play softball next year. An organization called SafeWise, who works to increase home and community safety, released the top 100 safest cities in America for 2017, and Hopkinton is ranked towards the top of the list. The organization ranked Hopkinton 15th overall in the country. Hopkinton was ranked as the fourth safest city in Massachusetts. Mass cities on the list before Hopkinton included Wayland, Norfolk, and Weston. Hopkinton was ranked as having zero violent crimes per 1,000 residents and only 3.2 property crimes per 1,000 residents. See more, including the full link to the SafeWise list, on our website, hcam.tv. Some Hopkinton High School students participated in the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network's annual State Lobby Day. Last week, the group went down to Boston and met with lawmakers to urge support for a tobacco control bill, which includes increasing the legal age of sale for tobacco to 21 years old. The students who will also be participating in the Relay for Life in May made a PSA about the topic. Especially if you look at the facts, like, you know, you see so many people dying prematurely because of smoking and you see how it leads to so many different types of cancer, up to 18 have been proven. I am really excited to be lobbying for this legislation this year. It's very important to me, especially because I read a fact that if smoking continues at the current rate among youth, 103,000 of today's Massachusetts kids will die prematurely. The first female registered runner to complete the Boston Marathon, Katherine Switzer, received a warm welcome during her visit to Hopkinton. She made history by becoming the first registered female runner to complete the marathon in 1967. And to celebrate 50 years since the historic day, she is training to run the Boston Marathon once again this year. She was recently welcomed by the Board of Selectmen and they declared Catherine Switzer an honorary citizen of Hopkinton.